Greetings and salutations, guys, here and here. Welcome to part two, two, two of our, um, my handbag collection, my personal handbag collection sale slash regular sale, because I'm throwing in regular stuff too. Um, thank you guys so much for joining. I'm, I know, like, the times just, like, changed and went crazy. Um, but I, I'm excited to be here earlier for you guys. Uh, yesterday, a couple of you guys expressed wanting to start the live earlier so uh, I started a couple hours earlier than I thought so um, but hello everyone let's see who's in here there's Anne there's Dawn hi guys there's Squishy there's Liz Cassandra hi Cassandra Pauline Lady Badger oh also Lady Badger aka Sean and I keep always say, I always say AKA Sean. Sean, AKA Lady Badger, and I are going to be doing a live sale um, on Thursday the 19th. So um, she's going to be selling some of her goodies. And um, I think we're going to do it at. 11 a.m. or uh, yeah okay yeah 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time so set your alarm clocks um, or whatever <laughs> you set uh, for January 19 at 11 a.m. and that'll be super duper fun uh, and I'm gonna do a couple more like there's gonna be a couple people that we're gonna be doing lives with um, coming up. So I think Lady Badger is going to be our first one. And then uh, a, a couple other people are going to join as well. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, guys. Ooh, you guys help me think of a giveaway question um, for today. Oh, I have the item that I was going to give away. I like could not find it for the life of me yesterday. But it's a fossil wallet. And it's this really beautiful brown leather fossil wallet. It has this really cool metal um top piece right here and you open it by opening up this little hinge lock and then it opens up it's in really great condition um it's in like new condition so really really beautiful wallet um keep it for yourself give it as a gift it's really nice and fossil like leather is so awesome squishy and beautiful and yeah, so that is our giveaway for today. Hi, Something Latte. How are you? Okay. Okay. Um, so. Oh, yeah. If you guys can help me think of a question, too, that would be awesome. Um, where is... Sorry, I'm like, what am I doing? It has been, like, raining and overcast the whole day today. And I'm, like, one of those people that, like, I, I like the sunlight. And when I don't see the sun, I'm just like, mm. <laughs> I just want to, like, stay in bed all day. Hi, Marjorie. Oh, I forgot to get something. I'm just, like, surrounded by stuff right now. So I don't know where my life is going. What, Vadrian? Also, Vadrian says hi, everyone. I'm trying to, like, organize all this stuff around me. I have so much stuff. Um, hi, Bevin. How are you? I could not, like, decide what sunglasses... I wanted to like possibly let go of so you guys are gonna help me do that later on I'm gonna have like a sunglass segment I'm gonna bring all my sunglasses over and I think if I just like do it on the spot it'll be a lot more it'll be a lot less painful than trying to think of it ahead of time hi um, hi Tara how are you hi Melissa Oh, 70 degrees? That's actually nice and warm. It's been so chilly here. Like, it's not... It'll probably never get as cold as it does over there in Tennessee. But I think it's been... Let me look at the weather. Yeah, it's currently 56 degrees. So... 
Yeah. Chili. Adrian says hi, Marjorie. I don't ketchup and mustard. I feel like they they're like they're almost like the unofficial mascots of the sale. Mustard and ketchup. They're so cute. Also, if you, um if you guys didn't catch yesterday's live, um, I will link that. Actually, I should probably link that down below in the description box or something. Um, so that way, if anyone hasn't seen that or like to see the items from yesterday, um, you can go check that out. And if anyone wants to see anything from yesterday um, more in depth today, just let me know. And I can go grab them. But let me edit this. So that way it'll be here. Right, so that's now linked down below in the description box of this video, and you can go over there and see what I had if you missed it. Hi, Melissa. Oh, Marjorie, Tornado Watch. Oh, tornadoes are so scary. Ever since I was like traumatized when I saw that movie Twister. We could do bidding war on the sunglasses. <laughs> that is on national. Oh, really, Don? Hi, Dodo Bird. Oh my gosh, Melissa, that's so cold. <laughs> 31. Oh, Tara, how's the snow today? Also, um, oh, yeah. Quest what should I... Qu Vade, do you have a question that we can do? What... <laughs> no, let's do what is the temperature where you live? <laughs> let's do that. That's our question for today. Something nice and easy. And leave your answer. Oh, no, that's... Oh, wait, no, that's right. In that... No, 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 don't leave it in that video. Just kidding. That's the wrong one. Um, it's going to be yesterday's... The same one as yesterday. And that's the link for yesterday's live sale. Um, where is it? Where is it? Okay, it's this video right here. So, here's the video. <laughs> there you go. So, leave your answer right there. Oh, no, Tara. That's awful. There we are. Okay. Man, I wish, like, I kind of, like, miss having a fireplace. There's nothing that, like, nothing beats, like, a fire just, like, standing around it. It's so nice. Like, we have the outside one, but it's not the same as having one inside. At our old house, we had a fireplace, and it was awesome. Ooh, Cassandra, that sounds like a lot of fun. How's everyone's week going by so far, though? Like, are you guys... How are you guys feeling about 2023? How has it been for you guys? The kids are going back to school tomorrow, so they are dreading it. And <laughs> this whole day, they're just, like, trying to get the most out of their last day before going back to school tomorrow. Hi, Purple Rain. Just got new tires. There's no tires. <gasps> Ooh, snow tires. I remember um, growing up in New York, we had to put, like, chain on our tires or whatever. And I always thought that was so crazy. I can't even imagine doing that, like, now. We're so, like, spoiled in California. Oh no, Don! I didn't hear about that. He was like in a, a like an accident. Like oh no, I think was it like a snow plow accident or something? Man, that snow is dangerous. 
Oh, she's 17. <laughs> Going back to school tomorrow. Is she, uh, is she a senior or a junior in high school? <laughs> Ooh, it's only three hours for me, Melissa. Oh, a snowplow accident. Okay, yeah. I think I read something about that, like, briefly. I saw, like, some sort of, like, update on Instagram, I think, this morning. That's awful. Um, Raven... Yes, I will actually have some Michael Kors. Yeah, I'm going to do stuff for my personal collection as well as... Hmm? Who? Oh, no. Snow plant. Oh, that's awful, Dawn. But yeah, we're going to have Michael Kors. I'm going to have Coach. Um, I, I have Chanel. There's um, Furla. I have Dooney and Burke. Um, I have a Stella McCartney. I have a Mew Mew. Uh, I also do have shoes. So I have um, some Chanel shoes. Valentino. Uh, Gucci. I have a pair of Doc Martens and some YSL and Chloe boots. So, Junior, she missed the deadline by nine days. Oh, okay. Yeah, my um, one of my best friends from like elementary school to high school, he missed the cutoff too by a few days. So he was like bummed. <laughs> but then I had another friend who missed the cutoff date, but somehow their parents, like, got them, like, pushed through anyway. I don't know how that worked. So I had a friend that was also, I had one friend that was always, like, almost a year older and another one that was always a year, like, almost a year younger than everyone else. Okay, well, I will leave that link. Again, right there for the giveaway. Our question is, what is the temperature where you're at? Like, what is your weather? Is it snowing? Is it raining? Is it, what is it? What's happening over there? Okay, let's start off with, start off with something fun. Okay, our first item that we have. Wait, are you guys ready? It's all my friends. When I first started school um, here in the US, I didn't know how to speak English. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the story about, um, I, I when growing up, like when, when we first moved here from the Philippines and like, I didn't know how to speak English because I was just like, I was straight from the Philippines and I knew how to speak Tagalog, but I was just like a tiny child. And my parents know how to speak English. Like my mom actually speaks like, she like could speak English like really well, even though she was just from the Philippines. Like pretty much almost everyone in the Philippines knows how to speak English or can at least understand it. And it just depends on how well you can speak it or how good your accent is or whatever. Um, but mom, like, she was always, like, really good at speaking English, even when we just came here. And I went to, my first school was, I think it was at the Boys and Girls Club is where I went. No, wait, no. Was it there? I think it was there that this happened. Um, my teacher, whenever we had any, like, sort of announcement or something that was printed for the parents, they would always um, send me home with the paper in Spanish. And my mom was, like, so mad. She would always, like, tell them, like, she's, like, we're Filipino. And she's, like, but I can understand and read English. And she's, like, spoken to the teacher, like, a bunch of times. And she knows that my mom could speak English. But she would always send it in Spanish. And, like, that's, like, it's not even... Yeah, we don't even speak Spanish. Hi, 
Hi, Boots. How are you? Oh, it's always nice to have guests at the house. Tell them we said hi. Okay, well, I think we'll just get started. Think. Okay, let's do. Let's do it. Our first item that we have. Right, Don? <laughs> well, I was like, I don't even understand. This is Spanish. Well, I guess you can understand a couple things because some words are the same or similar in Spanish to Tagalog, but it's like. nuts. Hi, <laughs> boots guests. <laughs> All right, this is our first item of the day. We'll start off with a bang. This one's a good one. This is a large Chanel O case um, clutch pouch, and it is in this beautiful metallic gold. You guys know how much I love like the metallics. I want everything to be a shimmery metallic color. Um, so this one is gorgeous. Um, it has gold hardware, of course, and this has the boy hardware. So it's like the, like the boy okay style pouch. Um, it does have like some slight rubbing on the corners, which I haven't fixed up, but if you would like me to, I will color match it. I do have, um, a matching paint for this so I can touch it up before I send it out or I can leave it as is. Um, this zips open. Here is the inside. It's also quilted in a nice like gold fabric. And this actually will fit a iPad Pro so it should fit a MacBook Air as well. Um, it doesn't zip up when I have my case on it. But without the case on, of my iPad, it will fit inside of here. But you can kind of just like leave it open like that. And it is a beautiful pouch. And there's the back. But isn't it gorgeous? So you can use it, like I said, for your iPad or whatever um, as a clutch. You can do a lot with it. And I feel like this gold is like so pretty and it's a good like pop. And it's not like a bright like yellow gold. It's not like super yellow. So I think it's really, really pretty. So this is our first item of the day. Our Chanel large O case. Ah, where are we? Here we are. Oh my gosh. Accidentally went all the way up in the chat. Okay, there we are. Um, Chanel large gold O-case okay, boy style with gold hardware. And, um, oh, don't forget, it does have, like, the, um, some, like, little rubbing on the corners. You can see that's a little, like, it's, like, dark right there. Again, I can, like, um, I can match it. So, just know that that's kind of, like, right there. And just a little bit, just, like, right there. And then right there as well. But the inside is nice and clean. And this one is going to be, oh, thank you, Tara. All right, Vedran, how much are we doing this gold pouch for, the gold Chanel pouch? This is the large O case. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this one for, Okay, we're gonna keep it under a thousand at nine hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, nine hundred and fifty. That's gonna be item number one. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Okay, so that's our gold O case. 
And the zipper works really well too. You put her over here next to ketchup and mustard. And then number two, let's do Hi, Anne. Oh, Cassandra's calling it. Congratulations, Cassandra. Where's my gavel? Oh, here it is. Congratulations, Cassandra. That is a beautiful piece. You are going to love her. Yeah. And then up next is item number two. And someone was asking about a um, coach, so we'll do one of the coaches that I have here um, up next. And this one is a cute little love coach satchel. And it's in this like soft piano style leather. And then it has this it's love cut out. It's like cut out of the leather. And then it's uh has a Almost like an inlay. Yeah, it's like an inlay of uh, patent leather, like a metallic patent, and then it has like little studs. So it has lots of details on it. It's really, really nice. It has gold hardware. Um, the exterior is in pretty good shape. Very minimal rubbing on the corners. Um, the feet are in great shape as well. Just minor marks on there. There's no discoloration, but just some light scratches on the hardware of the bottom. And then we have the crossbody strap, which is adjustable and it is removable. Cause I was like, hi, oh, Maryland. <laughs> Cassandra. <gasps> oh, it's going to be perfect for your iPad. And then the inside is in this like tan soft piano leather. And there's just one middle zipper dividing pocket right here and it's nice and clean inside and out it's a great bag it also does have this little lock charm the charm doesn't open it just it just stays put it doesn't like you can't take it off of here and this is gonna be item number two this is our Miriam yes it is a Michael Kors this is our uh, Maroon Love Michael Kors. Oh, did I say coach? I meant Michael Kors. I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant Michael Kors. I'm sorry. Uh, satchel with gold hardware. Did we? I'm sorry, you guys. I, I meant Michael Kors. Okay, this one, we're going to do this one for, uh, I think we had it before at like 85 So I'm going to do it for 60 today if anyone's interested. That's $60. That's for our Maroon Michael Kors. That's item number two for $60. Numero dos. <laughs> I have like coach on the brain. I do not know why. Okay, so that is this guy right here. Oh, i got to move this one over, too. Congrats again, Cassandra. That is a beautiful, beautiful clutch. All right, up next. What? I said clutch, Vadrian. No. <laughs> All right, next up, item number three. Let's do Valentino shoes. So this one is like a full set. It comes with the box. And it even has like the dust bag and all the original packaging and all that inside. Um, here's a Valentino dust bag. This one have a receipt. It also does come with extra studs right inside of here as well. And these are a size 37. So. These are size 37. I believe they would fit like a size six, six and a half. I know Valentino runs small. So um, these are a light pink. <gasps> no way, Tara. I love the pillow tabby. What color, did, what color is it in? 
Um, but yeah, light pink, gold hardware, beautiful. This is just like the regular leather. Um, it does have a little bit of like a scuffing right here at the very tip of the left shoe and a little bit of a scratch right there on the right side of the right shoe. But aren't they beautiful? They are in really great shape. They don't have too much wear on the bottoms either. And yeah, nice and clean on the inside too. Again, these are a size 37 and this will be a full set inside with the box and everything. And this one, oh, I want an ombre tabby too. The ombre tabbies are so cute. Okay, so this is our uh, pink Valentino rock stud flat size 37 with box and dust bag. Hi, Norma. Really? Yeah, in the box? Are you sure that wasn't an old? That was a different pair, no? I think that was a different pair. Yeah, but I think, was that the patent one? I think that was the patent one. No? Anyway, we're going to do these for a deal today. Okay, these are in really, really great shape. We're going to do 250 on these. And that's item number three. 250 for these beautiful Valentino rock studs. The leather smells so good on these two. <laughs> Gorgeous shoes, complete with the box and even the extra studs. And that's number three. And that's $250. All right, next up we have item number four. And next up, let's do. What am I going to do next? Oh, I don't have this in here. This one's still available too. This is that Chanel. The Chanel tote bag from yesterday in green. Um... Oh, okay. If anyone's interested are in our Stella McCartney backpack. This is the denim one. It has gunmetal colored hardware and then it has this metallic magenta and almost like a uh like a periwinkle gray strap and the backpack is in great shape um i think it's the only wear is that there's just a little bit of um a little bit of cracking of the edge coat and that's just like that waxy and like parts to the side of the strap so the like the leather I know the, she uses vegan leather so the leather itself is in great shape it's just there's a little bit of cracking on the edge coating but it's really hard to see because it's like almost in the inside right there so and then the interior is nice and clean it just has one zipper pocket right here right there and here's the bottom In the back it's a really pretty bag he didn't even have <laughs> really purple rain oh Norma I didn't see it I'm sorry um carry the green Chanel bag from yesterday is $1,350. That was the green Chanel tote from yesterday. Hi, Hannah. All right, so this is our denim Stella McCartney drawstring backpack. And this one is going to be
Yeah. Okay, this one is um, 350, but let's do 300. We're going to do 300. That's item number four. If anyone's interested. The denim is in really great shape. And so is like the vegan leather. It's just that little edge coating piece that I showed you guys. It has a little bit of cracking. Uh, so that's item number four. Here she is one more time. So cute. I don't know. I just love denim stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're angry at your husband, Hannah. Okay, our next item, number five, is going to be... Okay, let's just do these. I don't know, I'm just going to do all the box shoes that I have already. These are some Gucci shoes. Again, this is also with a box. Um, the box is a little dirty, though, but it's okay. Just the box. This one is also um, pretty much a full set. And it is these. This also does come with a dust bag. And then it also even has the original receipt inside. But these are some black velvet shoes. So pretty with the like gold hardware. Um, black velvet. No, not velvet. Black suede, sorry. These are black suede. So these are black suede leather heels. These are a size 39. Hi, Veronica. They do have a little bit of marking right there, but I think I have my brush. Let's see. I think it just needs a good suede brush, but also an eraser. I don't have my suede brush with me. But I do have a brush. Oh, it's already significantly better. It just needs like a good suede brush to like brush out the the nap of the suede. And then it'll be good. But no like really nothing else on the on the leather other than kind of like that um, compacting of the suede but a good suede brush will get that right out which we will do before we send it out here's the bottoms they don't have too much wear on these either these are in a really great shape again these are a 39 uh no kelly it's a it's a green an army green chanel tote it's that, I think you were here yesterday when you uh, when I showed this one. But yeah, so this is the Chanel tote from yesterday. And again, this will come with the box and the dust bag. Oh, the dice. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hannah. He's a little saboteur. Okay, so this is... Oh, yeah, Kathleen! How are you? Okay, so these are black Gucci heel size 39. And the heel height is about 2 inches. Oh, well, we're glad you're here today too, Kelly. You can still watch yesterday's live also. I have it linked down below in the description box. And hi, Veronica. Vadrian also says hi as well. The, the, the black Gucci, the suede ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, we had these at 425, but we'll do 395 tonight. And that's item number five. And they're gorgeous. Such pretty shoes. I'm obsessed with these. Uh, 
Okay, up next. Let's do... I'm feeling a little weird. I saw this already from... Oh, oh, that's right. Because your eye is like open the whole time, huh? That's crazy. But is your eye feeling better? Like, how is it? Okay, up next, we got item number six. No, just go. Oh, they probably will. As long as you go to the big one. Yeah, definitely rest your eye, Kathleen. But I'm glad you're here, because that means you're doing at least okay enough to, to be here right now. Alright, so up next, we got item number six. And we are going to do, what do I have? Um, oh, here's the Mew Mew. Let's see this beautiful Mew Mew. All right. This is the one I spy, beautiful red Chanel. Oh, yeah, Kelly. There's a couple. I'll actually pop them up in the screen really quick and show you. Um... We got a couple of them. Actually, I'll show all the Chanel's really quickly. So we have the Chanel silver belt bag right here. If you guys want to see anything like more in depth, too, just let me know. I'm just gonna show these really quickly because these were in yesterday's live. We have the belt, the crossbody phone bag in this metallic, like oh, not like a pearlescent. It's more like a pearlescent blue with silver hardware. Then we have this. Quilted red Chanel flap with gold hardware. This one's nice and squishy. Love her. And then we also have this guy right here in red as well. This one is in like an aged kind of like calfskin leather. And this one has silver hardware. And this is an accordion style. And this is the one that has a secret zipper right here. A little secret zipper pocket, which I think is so cool. And a back pocket as well. And then we have this beauty. This one is in like a dark brown with like red undertones. It's gorgeous. Also, like a, this is like a soft aged lamb skin, I believe. And it has ruthenium hardware. Kind of has like that boy hardware on the front. And this one's a crossbody. There's also a nice large back pocket, which is fantastic. It's great. And then. We also have this little pretty pink princess. This one's a pink pearlescent Chanel flap. And this one also has ruthenium hardware. And this one you can wear as a crossbody too or as a shoulder bag. And we have ketchup and mustard. They're in the back. We have the green Chanel tote. And we still have the large, ex the extra large puzzle bag as well. Isn't it gorgeous, Norma? <laughs> I love them all, too. All right, up next. Sorry, guys. I was trying to send this video to my friend for the back. Okay, um, but let's go to item number six. What did I just show? That was, oh, the Gucci heels, okay. Next up, let's do, Oh, Norma, I see your messages now. I'm so sorry I missed them. I was like, why didn't I see Norma's messages? Um, yeah, the the two Jerome Dreyfus bags are still available. So um, I will message you about those, but I'll, I'll set those aside for you. So, um, But yeah, that red the red coach is no longer available. Okay, up next. To do like all the shall I pay for it? Keep changing. <laughs> Kathleen.
Yeah, I can show the phone bag. Here she is. So this one is like a pearlescent blue. It's so pretty. It's silver. And then the CCs right here have a blue inlay as well. And this one is in fantastic condition. Like, it looks pretty much brand new. Uh, and this guy also does come with the uh, Chanel card as well as the little care booklet. And the iPhone mini and the regular iPhones will fit in here. Um, the regular one will just pop out just a little bit, but it will fit. Um, but the largest iPhone does not fit in here. The, if you have, like, the, the plus size, it's not going to fit inside. And then you can wear this one as a crossbody, or you can even double up the straps and wear it as a little shoulder bag, too. So you can wear this one a couple different ways. And she is a beauty. I love how it shimmers, too. Hi, Gem Drops. Happy New Year to you, too. Okay. But yes, I didn't see Carrie. Where's Carrie? Oh, there's Carrie. Oh, I didn't see you there, Carrie. I'm sorry about that. Um, in the Chanel phone bag, this guy is from yesterday. How much for you, Chanel phone bag? Um, this one is... Hold on, I'm trying to look it up too, Adrian. My brain is missing. Oh, this one's 1450 for this guy. So 1450. Oh, and I also do have this one too. Uh, I have this guy right here. Totally forgot I still have this one. And this is the metallic um, green that has like a blue color shift. And this one has silver hardware. And chain strap inside of here. This one will fit your iPhone um, Mac size. So this one will fit your iPhone. If I can find my phone. Oh, here it is. This one will fit your phone inside. Did this finally send? Oh, it's still sending. Jeez Louise. Maybe if I send it like this. And this one is um, 1350 for this little Chanel walk. Hi, Diana. Hi, Nico. How are you? Right, Melissa? I feel like it's even prettier today. I don't know. It just gets better better over time. <laughs> but that's, um, that's, I think that's all the Chanel that I showed yesterday. And then up next, we got number six. And we're doing, oh, that was right, the Mew Mew. This one is a light pink Mew Mew satchel. I am obsessed with the crystal encrusted heart right here. It's so pretty. And it's on both sides too. And that's attached to the zipper pull. It has all these fun gold studs. There's also a zipper pocket in the back. And the crossbody strap is tucked away inside. This has a purple lining, which does have... Like some slight mis like discoloration has some lightning towards the top. There's a zipper pocket in there and an open pocket as well. And this will come with a dust bag. Um, the bag is in pretty good condition. Uh, it just has a little mark right here. I believe that's actually a glue mark from the bag. 
um, when it was being made. It's also a glue mark right here, which looks, looks a little intense. Um, and a little bit like coming out from the top stitching right there. And a little bit right here as well. There's the bottom. And this is one of the bags from my aunt. So I'm selling this one for my aunt. Oh, it also has a little bit of glue on the handles too. So they were like glue crazy with this bag. But it's a shame that that happens because when you don't see the glue turning color like till years later, like that after you've had the bag for a while, um, it's like clear at first. So you don't even see it. And then over time it starts to yellow and then it turns almost like this dark color. So... Hi, Dina, or Diana. Um, Nico, I still, I just have that one Louis Vuitton from yesterday. Um, actually, I might be convinced to do another Louis Vuitton. Maybe I'll do another one. We'll see. Okay, this is number six. So this is our pink Mew Mew satchel with crystal heart pull. And dust bag. And this one is how much, Adrian? Oh, okay, no. This one we're going to do for $250. And that's item number six. $250. All right. Uh, no, Veronica. Number two is still available. It's this guy right here. It's a little love, um, coach bag. The love, like the... It's like a little squished looking. Hold on. There you go. I feel like it's a little better. The leather's like really hard on this one. And the front, looks, I think it just needs to be used with some stuff inside. And it'll pop back out. But yeah, so this is that guy. Okay, so there's that one. And up next, we have number seven. And okay, we have. Oh, let's do these. Okay, so these are some Doc Martens. Um, Kathleen, the Michael Kors bag is $60. Veronica, I didn't find it. I think it might have sold. I thought I didn't sell it yet, but yeah, no. I couldn't find it. So this is a pair of Doc Martens. They're black and white polka dots and the polka dots have like stripes inside um this particular dot has like kind of some marks on it if you can see from there so there's that otherwise though like these shoes look like they're in light like in brand new condition like the bottoms are so clean um and the exterior great great shape don't see any other marks on the shoes other than that they have like a nice chunky um, heel too. These are a women's size 10 and then it's a size 9 men's for these guys. Um, Kathleen, I'll, oh, I have some coach bags. I just don't have an, any vintage ones right now. They're all just like newer, um, newer-ish styles. Okay, so these are item number seven. 
And these are our black, oops, black Doc Martens with white polka dots, size nine. Size nine men, size 10 ladies, yeah, 10 ladies. Okay, and we're gonna do these for, let's do a deal. Okay, we're gonna do these for $95. And that's gonna be item number seven. All right. And then number eight. These videos are not sending. That is so weird. Oh, now my aunt's texting me. <laughs> my aunt's like looking for bags too because she's um, going to the Philippines. So she's looking for, if you're Filipino, they're called pasalubong, but it's like gifts or presents that you bring with you when you go back. Um, oh yeah, purple one, they're a pretty large size. Like they, I can kind of wear them but like, like I bought them because I thought like I was going to be able to wear them. I wasn't paying attention to the size. I thought they were size 10 men's and they're just like, like they fit, but like my foot feels like pretty squished. <laughs> Maybe if I wore them long enough, they might stretch out, but that's not the case. I, I don't think. Um, all right. So next up we have, oh, I do have a Louis Vuitton thing. Okay. Um... I have a little Louis Vuitton wallet right here. This is in black. I forget the style of this. It's kind of like, it has this embossed print that looks like the Damier print. Um, the print on the front, though, is kind of like compacted. So you do see it, but it's not as... Um, it's not as, like, indented as it is, like, on the back, if that makes sense. So you can see, like, on the, on this side, you can see the impression a lot better than on the front. On camera, it looks a lot worse. In person, you, like, you can definitely still see it, but it's just, like, coming up kind of like... <laughs> yeah. And then inside is in really good shape, and it, it has um, M-A-G-K in there in silver. Um, I like to think that this was Machine Gun Kelly's, <laughs> but yeah. You can take this off, though, with like a little bit of like rubbing alcohol, probably. But yeah, this is just a little pocket organizer. There's also a pocket here on the back as well. And it's just a little Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. Louis Vuitton pocket organizer, black leather. And this one's how much, Peter? It's the little machine, the little machine gun Kelly one. Okay, let's do this one. Let's do a good deal on this one. We're gonna keep it under a hundred. Uh, we're gonna do ninety-five. All right, that's the item number eight. Little Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. Next up, we got number nine. And oh, really, Diana? 
when I um when I cleaned and conditioned it, like it helped it pop out a little bit more. But I think this is just in someone's pocket and just from like using it all the time, it kind of like pushed down the indentation, like the embossing of the print. But you can still see it like in person. On camera though, it doesn't come up as nicely. But the back pops up. Like the back, this is like how it normally looks on the back. All right, up next, number nine. Um, also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Uh, I'm gonna leave that linked for you guys right here. Leave your answer in the comments of the video that I link. Hi, OG Thrifter. Welcome to the live sale. This is tonight's giveaway. It's a fossil wallet in this beautiful brown leather. It has this cool like metal um, pieces at the top. And there's the interior. It's nice and clean. This wallet's in really great shape. It's in like new condition. And this is today's giveaway. Okay, up next, we have item number nine. And we have, those I feel like are small. Um, let's do, okay, we're gonna do this guy right here. Um, this is a Dior little tote bag. There we go. Little Dior tote bag. Uh, this is made of like a woven leather. It's in this like taupey, like a taupe color. Um, I noticed that like when like I didn't really notice when I first part purchased it, but it is like it has been refinished, like the leather. Um, I almost like want to redo the bag myself, but if anyone wants this one, we'll do this one at a really good price. So just know this was like repainted by someone else. Um, they didn't do, like, the worst job, but I feel like they could have done a better job. Just upon, like, closer inspection, you can tell that it was painted. There is a little bit of color loss right there. There's, like, a little scratch. Um, and also right here in this little corner. I mean, you can definitely just keep it as is. It still looks pretty good. But I could, I feel like they could have done a little bit of a better job on it. It has silver hardware. Um, the interior is lined in leather. It's in pretty clean shape. There's a little, like, um, mark right there underneath the top, like, underneath the zipper. It's, like, a gray mark. But the inside is in, like, a like a nude-colored leather. And then there's a zipper pocket and then two open pockets on the inside. And it has a little magnetic snap up at the top. Oh, Cassandra, you're getting your hair done? Nice. Yeah, this is a Dior bag, Kathleen. So, it has, like, the little Dior charm right here. It is an authentic bag. It just has been, um, like, painted. I believe the original color was something like this. It was, like, an off-white color. And it was painted, uh, like a taupe. Okay, so this is number nine. This is our Dior woven leather bag in taupe with silver hardware. Okay, and this one is going to be... Okay, we're going to do this one for 300 and that's item number nine. Okay. There we go. It does have also little feet on the bottom as well. Looks like... <laughs> All right. 
So that was number nine. And then number 10 is up next. And let's do... Um... So I have, oh, I have a, oh, let's do a coach. I have this brown coach crossbody bag. And this is like a double pouch bag. Hi, Odelia. This is in a brown pebbled leather. It also does have the original hang tag right there as well. It has a crossbody strap, which is adjustable, but it's not removable. There's a back pocket right there and the front has two um, built-in card pockets and then there's actually a middle compartment that doesn't have like it's not zippered or anything and it's in between the two pouches you can put your phone in there and then the back just has one interior pocket and then the creed is right there uh, this bag is in really good condition very minimal wear there might be a little bit of rubbing on some of the corners, but not noticeable. The hardware also is nice and shiny. And this one is number 10. This is our brown double zip coach crossbody bag with gold hardware. And this guy is going to be... Okay, we're going to do $60 for this guy. That's going to be number 10. Alright, then number 11 is up next. Okay. I have... What am I gonna do next? Number 11. I have these beautiful Chloe boots. These are a size 39. And these are in a dark, dark brown. I know they look black, they are dark brown. They have these beautiful belted details and the, like, the little studs. It has brushed gold hardware has about a three inch heel on them. The sh these shoes are in really great condition. Um, the interior is also lined in leather and they're gorgeous. They don't like unzip or anything though. You kinda just flip your foot in to the top. But they are a beautiful boot. Again, these are a size 39. So these are dark brown Chloe boots with brushed gold hardware, size 39. And these are how much feet are in for these guys? Okay, we're going to do these guys for a deal at $65. They're in really, really good condition. That's going to be item number 11. And then number 12 is up next. And we have... Okay. We have, this is a Madewell backpack. It's in this brown pebbled leather. It's amazing. It's in really good condition. Um, very minimal, like, if any rubbing. I honestly don't think this bag's ever been used, but it's in great shape. It has fabric underneath the straps, so that way the straps don't stretch out if you're carrying a ton of stuff in here, which you can because this bag is huge. It's a really good look good size great for school travel work 
um, whatever. It also has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. The interior is super clean. We have a little top handle right here as well, and it has a antique brass hardware. Thank you, O'Maryland. Does anyone know Bell? I've never heard of Bellroy Jean. Is it like one of those Italian brands? Okay, this is our brown made well pebbled leather backpack with antique brass hardware and this one oh and this is also the larger size i know this bag comes in two sizes this is the larger one um we're gonna do this one for how much fade rain Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this one for... Okay, we had an 85, we're gonna do 75. No, we'll do 70. $70 tonight, and this one is in really great shape. I think this bag retails for like 200 something, I think. How much? I know it's on the website still, where are you? I sent it to my aunt earlier because we were looking at backpacks. And I was asking her if she wanted one like this. Oh yeah, $228. It's the Lorimer backpack. So, 228 bucks on the website. Okay, so that's $70. And then next up is going to be number... 13. Oh, you're welcome, Gene. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. I'm not familiar with that one. Okay, number 13 is going to be... Should I do that one? I don't know. I'm so torn. Do you guys want to see a Louis Vuitton bag? Let's see. I think I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay, hold on. Let me grab the Louis Vuitton. Ugh. All right. Are you guys ready for this? So this one is a good one. <gasps> oh, I was looking for this guy. This one's not for sale, but isn't he cute? He's like a little penguin. Like a little penguin change purse. So cute. Have little um, lens wipes inside of him. I was looking for him. He was in here this whole time. Okay. Annie Proenza. Uh, I can do a Proenza. I'll do a Proenza Dawn after this. Okay, here we go. This one is super cool. So this is the Louis Vuitton um, soft trunk bag. And this is the one, like, it has, um, it's like, see-through it's like a mesh with like the louis vuitton uh, monogram on there and this is in black and it has like the black metal hardware uh zips across the top right here isn't she beautiful the crossbody strap is adjustable and actually is removable too so you can just use this as a clutch there she is Isn't she gorgeous? I've been hoarding this bag for a while. <laughs> but it's really, really cool. Um, it's in pretty good shape. There's like minimal um, like discoloration on the hardware. I think just, there's just a few little scratches where some of the silver is popping through the black. Um, and then just a little bit here. I feel like it adds character though when like on this bag with like the hardware co like color kind of popping through. Um, it is clear, so there's no like pockets or anything on the inside. Uh, this one is from 2019. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh yeah, Norma. Um, let me try to put something inside so you can see the color. Do I have anything light colored that I can put inside? Um, here you go. There you can see it now. So it's like um, it's like embroidered on there, and it's kind of like this. It's like a mesh. And it has the design like, and it's all around the bag. So it's on the back as well. So you can totally see through the entire bag. It's pretty cool. There's the bottom. It does have little feet and the bottom is all leather. Isn't it really cool? Veronica, it's the Louis Vuitton soft box. This is the same, uh, um, oh, Anne's not in here, huh? Anne has the same bag, but she has the one that's, uh, it's like an iridescent kind of finish to it. So this is like the mesh version. And this one is our item number 13. Our Louis Vuitton soft trunk crossbody bag with black hardware. Yes, Veronica, it's mesh. So it's mesh and leather. And this one's gonna be how much should we do this one for, Vadrian? I know, I'm crazy. Like, I know this bag, like, retail, like, resale is around, like, almost, probably, like, 3,000 plus. Um, it's gorgeous, right? Um, Veronica, I honestly do not know. Like, the mesh itself is really, like, it feels nice and strong, but... It's definitely one of those like collector pieces that like this is like a Virgil Abloh piece. Um, we're gonna do this one for two thousand eight hundred and fifty, and that's gonna be item number thirteen. And yeah, 2850, number 13. And it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, like the mesh is in like pretty much perfect condition. There's no like, um, no like broken pieces or anything. And the leather is in good shape too. Really gorgeous bag. And this is number 13. I've been hiding these from you guys. <laughs> I've had that one for like a while, like months and months. Probably almost as long as that. No, I think I even had it longer than the than the than the brown, like that tan loewe that I had before. So I've had them for a hot second. Okay, fourteen is up next, and. We will have... Okay, um, this one is a Burberry. If you were here before when I did like the sale with all my aunt stuff, this is one of the remaining pieces that are left. And this is a, a dark brown. It's like the same like color as the Chloe boots. Very, very dark, dark, dark brown. Um, all leather belted tote hobo bag has a little belted detail right there. It has antique brass hardware. It has a little Burberry placard right here on the back. It has the belts on either side of the bag. The straps are nice and long, so they'll sit on your shoulder really easily, even if you're wearing like a thick jacket and sweater. And it has the magnetic snap across the top, and then the interior is in the Nova Check print. Um, 
There's a middle dividing zipper pocket and then a back zipper compartment right there. Sorry, it's like hard to see. The bag is like so squishy and soft. I can't even um, open it up to show you guys. Um, it's in pretty good shape. I don't think there's any stains really inside of here. Um, yeah, I don't think you guys see any pen marks or anything. My aunt did, my aunt takes care of her bags pretty well, so. I, yeah, I think it's super clean inside. I don't think there's any marks. And the exterior leather is in really great shape. Um, I know, Dan. <laughs> okay, so this is our uh, dark brown leather Burberry um, hobo tote bag with antique brass hardware. And this one. Oh, wait, that's right, Melissa. I'll get the pro ones after this. Um, how much is this one, Vitorin? Oh, hold on. I'll look it up really quick. Sorry, guys. Vitorin's currently <laughs> was dropping off uh, mail. So, Burberry um, Hobo or Burberry Toe? Burberry. Burberry Dark Brown. Burberry. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, this one was 450. So we're gonna do this one for two 400. Okay, so that's item number 14 for our Burberry tote bag. Okay, and then 15, let me go grab that Proenza. I will be the red one. Yeah, no? Yeah. Oh, here, let me do this one. No, I'm gonna do this blue one. That was my mom. She doesn't use it anymore. Yeah. The navy one. Okay, guys. We got, this is a navy Proenza. Um, this is the PS1. And this is in the, I believe this is like the size large. This is like the regular, like this is the normal size that like most people are most familiar with and most people have. This is like their most popular size. Um, it has a navy lambskin leather and then that brass hardware. The only thing with the bag though is that mom did have the little connectors on the straps replaced. So um, these were replaced. These aren't the original ones. It does have the little original hang tag right here. There's a zipper pocket inside there. And then another zipper pocket here in the front. And then a magnetic snap pocket right there. And there is a back zipper pocket also. Um, the exterior leather is in really great shape. The bag is super squishy and super soft. And we love the PS1. I have a few of these bags in my personal collection. And this is the only one that mom had. But she ended up never really using it too much. But yeah, it's a great size. And yeah, so this is navy. Oh, it's okay, Don. I don't have anything smaller than this one right now from uh, Proenza, but I'll keep a lookout. Like, you're probably looking for, like, the pouch or, like, the mini. Uh, okay, so this is 15. This is our Navy Proenza schooler. Um, I don't have any walks right now. Um, I'll see if mom would let go of hers, but yeah. Maybe friends of schooler, a PS1 satchel with gold hardware. Okay, this one we're gonna do for 400. 
and that's number 15. 400 for our Proenza. I love Proenza bags. The leathers are so soft. <gasps> Carmen, I was waiting for you. Uh, Veronica is just going to fit like a 12 inch, probably 13 inch, 12, 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's not going to fit anything bigger than that one. Carrie, I don't have any mulberry tonight. I only have a mulberry wallet. It's okay, Dawn. You know, honestly, she hasn't used it recently. Um, Carmen, I was waiting for you because I was going to do the sunglasses. I don't even know what sunglasses I'm going to get rid of, so I'm going to kind of do it with you guys as I go along, and I'll just see what my heart says while I'm holding the sunglasses. Oh, that's great, Dawn. I love it when you guys learn bag brands from me. I always learn a lot of bag brands from you guys, too. So it's a give and a take. All right, so let's do some sunglasses. Hold on, let me. Oh, I have so many. So don't laugh when you see this giant pile of sunglasses. I hope I don't drop anything. Okay. I have so many. Like, these are... Uh, this is my sunglass collection. And I have some in my hand. But this is it. I have, like, a bunch of cases thrown in there, too. Which I should probably not have all the cases in there also. But I was kind of going through them. And... No, Carmen, I'm going to do them right now. Oh, did you like Avatar? Okay. Um, I'm probably not going to get rid of these. Are, I'm not selling. I'm going to show you them as I go along. But I'm, I have these, but I'm not selling these. These are Celine's. Um, those are like one of my favorites. Um... Maybe I'll sell these. Okay, um, let's do these. These are uh, like a Celine. Uh, these are Celine's, but they're like in an aviator kind of style, but they still have a plastic lens. But then they have like the, the little gold metal details right there, like an aviator style. They're actually super duper cute. I feel like they're just slightly smaller than what... I normally like though they're still a good size and these are yeah these are um old Celine so it has Celine right inside of there in gold and then we just have the little three dots on the sides right there and with a like a black gray lens I know my sunglass collection is crazy Oh, that's good to hear, Carmen. It was a good movie. I liked it. Uh, so this is going to be item number 16. 16. Black Celine Aviator style sunglasses with gold hardware. All right, we're going to do these for 120 and that's item number 16. Okay, so those are these. The ones I'm going to keep, I'm going to put over there. Um, these are some Tom Ford ones. I think I'll probably keep these too. Yeah, I'm going to keep these. I like these. Um, these are... Oh, these are Gentle Monsters. Oh, I like these. Why do I like all the sunglasses? This is so hard for me. 
You guys are right. I'm like so addicted to sunglasses. <sighs> these are a... Uh, oh, I love these. These are a Chanel Aviator. Um, oh, I like the shape of these. These are key sunglasses. They're like a aviator style also, but they have kind of like a cool, like almost... I don't, I don't know the shape, but it's kind of like almost like an octagonal kind of looking shape. Um, almost like these, right? What happened, Beedrine? What? Oh. I have these small Ray-Bans. Well, they're not small, but they look small on me. But I still kind of like them because I'm obsessed. Vaden, are you looking at me? Should I sell these? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, how much are we doing these for? These are black Ray-Bans. And these are going to be number 17, black metal Ray-Ban sunglasses with, do these have a green lens? Yeah, these are like a dark green gray. And we're going to do these for 65. And these are in really good condition. They don't have like any major scratches or anything on them. Oh, thanks, Carmen. Okay, um, oh, these are all of our peoples. Do we like these, baby? I've had these for a while. I actually bought these from the actual, like, all of our people store. They're just, like, a big, like, square lens. Oh, Carrie is calling item number 17, and those are our Ray-Bans. Congratulations! Yay, Carrie! <laughs> Woohoo! These are all of our people. These are old. Like, I've had these, like, um, I don't know, like, how much did I do these for? Okay, I guess I can. Oh, no, these are, um, Paul Smith, but they're from all of our people, because all of our people own is Paul Smith. So these are Paul Smith. So they're gray, gunmetal. And they have like these little um, tortoise shell. Oh yeah, Carrie, he's gonna love them. Okay, so these are uh, gonna be item number 18. 18. Paul Smith um, aviator sunglasses, gun metal. And gray lens with tortoise shell. And these will be... Okay, we'll do these for 75. The Paul Smith ones. Oh, you know, I've heard that, Melissa. I don't have any Paul Smith socks myself. But I hear those socks are actually really nice. Like the ones, uh, like at Nordstrom. Mm-hmm. Raven, black metal. How were how much were the Raven Ravens again? I didn't write it down. I think. Okay, I'll just check again later. Okay, uh, nineteen is up next. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, uh, these are um, also Celine's, but I'll probably keep these because I do like these. Okay, I'm keeping those. Not me keeping all the sunglasses, though. What's inside of here? Oh, okay. I have this pair. Okay, so these are also Celine sunglasses. I think I'll, I'll let these go. So these are black Celine Black plastic uh, frame Celine sunglasses. Um, this also, um, I don't think I have the box for this. Um, these are in pretty good shape. Minimal marks on them. Um, these are also old Celine. They have a little accent over the E. Uh, they're a good size. Yes. Okay, so these are number 19. Black plastic 
frame sewing sunglasses with black lenses. And how much are these be right? Okay, we're gonna do these for $95. And that's number 19. And then 20 is up next. Oh, I remember someone wanted to buy this. <laughs> but I love this case. Sorry, I still can't sell it. I'm still obsessed. Okay, there's nothing inside of there. These are just the cases for my sunglasses. Okay, what's this? Um... Oh, these are those giant Tom Fords. Okay, are you guys ready for these? So this is a pair of black Tom Fords. And they have like the gold hardware, like the little T detail that his sunglasses have. I love that it has like this shield on the sides. I feel like <laughs> these are so fun. They literally like will cover your entire face. I feel like, um, Cyclops when I wear these, you know, from X-Men. Hi, Tiffany. Yes, I do still have the pink Chanel bag. Did you want to see it? As I'm wearing these crazy ginormous sunglasses. Let me just put the price on these up. So these are the black Tom Ford um, extra large sunglasses with black lenses and gold accents. And how much are these, Peter? No. Okay. These are going to be 125. Okay. Let's that one. All right, let's grab that pink Chanel. Where am I going to put my box of sunglasses? I don't want it to fall. Goodness gracious. Okay. Um, pink Chanel bag. Where are you? She's right over here. Oh, Norma's calling number 20. Congratulations, Norma. <laughs> Yay! And those are our Tom Fords. They're fantastic. Yes. Cyclops. Okay, let's set that guy over there. Alright, this is our pink Chanel. It's a cute little iridescent pink flap bag it has like this like little um detail right here in the front which i think is really cute it has a ruthenium hardware and it has like an iridescent like pearlescent sheen to it to the leather it's really pretty it's like a glazed leather so it's nice and smooth there's the back. It does have, um, I showed you guys yesterday, it has like a couple little marks right there. So it has a, like those little dots of like color loss. Just right there in that corner. Um, there is like some also like some minimal rubbing around the bag. But nothing crazy, like nothing's like super like obvious, but there are just like little marks on the corners. Some like slight rubbing. Uh, when you open it up, looks like this. Here's the inside. Um, this is just like a little coach dust bag that I, I had with it. Um, I don't have the dust bag for this bag, unfortunately. Um, here's the inside. It's kind of like this burgundy fabric lining. There's just one zipper pocket in the inside. It still has like the protective stickers on the underside of the grommets. Um, and then you can wear this one as, hi Lizzy. yeah, I'll show them again. This is the pink one right now. So you can wear this as a shoulder bag or you can wear it as a crossbody. Oh, another cool way to wear this too is you can bring all the chain inside and you connect, there's like a little connector that you can use to connect straps. 
and then you leave that connected and then you just have like a little top handle that you can use too and then you can just carry it like that so you can carry this back a couple different ways um shoulder drop is where is my oh there it is um about 11 and a half inches doubled up and then as a cross body the drop is about 22 inches but there's that guy what's great though about um the like when the bag is longer i have like these little connectors i don't have any with me but they're they're exactly the same ones that they give you at chanel you they like clamp the chain together it's like a little um um this is a pleat so it's just like pleated inwards right there But that's her. Um, and then Lizzie I was asking about the other Chanel. So there's the pink one. Then we have, this is the silver Chanel belt bag. So we have this guy too. And then we have our phone bag. This is in the iridescent blue with silver hardware. We have this guy right here. This is like a blue green metallic walk. Um, Carrie, the pink one is where is it? Um, pearlescent pink is two thousand two hundred and fifty for the pearlescent pink Chanel. And then we have this guy right here. This is an accordion style one, which is great. It has a secret little zipper pocket. I can't get it. Oh, there it is. It has a little secret zipper pocket right there too, which is awesome. And this has silver hardware and also has uh, the double straps. You can wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. And then we have this red one right here. And this is like a soft, squishy Chanel flap. This one's in red lambskin. And it has gold hardware, also with the double straps. This one has the, I think this has the shortest straps out of all the bags that I have. But you can also wear it shoulder or as a crossbody, though it will sit a little bit higher up. And then we have this guy. This is in the dark brown with the red undertones Chanel flap. It has like the, like the boy hardware then it has Chanel right here at the top and nice back pocket nice and large and you squeeze this hardware together right there and then you have the interior this one actually has a lot of like compartments inside which I feel like you don't really see in Chanel flat bags so this is really cool because there's a zipper pocket in the back there's a middle dividing zipper pocket and then there's two more open pockets and then you have the back pocket and then this one is a crossbody as well which is fantastic oh thank you Kathleen and <laughs> Melissa you guys are too nice um also what else do I have um so you got these guys And I also have this green Chanel tote. It's in like a army green color. Silver hardware. Um, Lizzie, the phone bag is... Where are you? I think so too. Um, no, that wasn't it. 
It was 1,450, the pearlescent blue Chanel phone bag. So 1,450. The brown one is so cute too, right? All right, and then I also have um, this little backpack. These are ketchup and mustard. So this is a red quilted lambskin with silver hardware. And this one is a uh, yellow, almost like a glazed calfskin. Um, and then it has like the clear part on top with silver hardware as well. And this is like the little mini version. So I got those. And I think that's it for the Chanel bags. They're so cute. I love them all. <laughs> yeah, this is a reissue tote. Okay. Uh, let's set this guy back here. And, okay, back to the sunglasses. What else do I have? Oh, no, these are my all These are all of her people. Oh, if you want to see anything more up close, too, like, let me know of those, uh, of the bags, or if you want any of the prices. Yeah, I like these. Okay, I can't sell these. Um, oh, no, definitely not these. Not me, just not wanting to sell any of these. Um, what about these? Oh, I kind of like these. And not these. Oh! Please, someone buy these and wear them every day. <laughs> these are um, D-squared sunglasses. These are actually runway sunglasses from the brand D-squared. And they are in this beautiful tortoise shell. And these are all like Swarovski crystals on the lens, on the sunglasses. They're so pretty. It just has like the D squared right there in gold. Um, they're beautiful. Like these are such cool sunglasses. Can you imagine just like looking fabulous in these? These are fun. Okay, so let's do these. Um, this is gonna be item number 21. Uh, Carmen, which one? These? Yes. See, these are D squared um, runway Swarovski crystal sunglasses. And these are going to be how much, Vadrian? No. Yeah? For how much? Okay. Um, I have these in my Depop right now for like 480 But the retail for these is 1275 for these sunglasses. Um, I'm going to do 275 yeah? No? 250. Okay. 250. They're like in perfect condition too. They're so good. I feel like these sunglasses look so cool. And they're like so shiny and shimmery. Not me just wearing these the whole time. Uh, all right, up next. Oh, Carmen's gonna get them, yeah! Congratulations, Carmen! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. These are literally the coolest sunglasses. 
Oh, thank you, Marjorie. Yeah, you know, just like a chemical peel totally just resurfaces your skin. <laughs> now I'm turning red again. No, don't say nice things to me. <laughs> but congratulations. I'm so glad we got you. Oh, so glad you got sunglasses. I'm so excited. Also, another really cute thing about this, it has a little charm right here. This is like the little D-squared logo. It has a little charm and it dangles. So it's really, really fun. Hi, West Coast gal. But congratulations. I'm so excited, Carmen. Yay. Okay. Congratulations. All right, up, next up, we're going to go to number 22. I'm glad you like them. Oh my gosh, I've had these sunglasses for like a gazillion years. But you know what? They were just waiting for the right person. And that person is you, Carmen. So I'm very excited. I'm going to set these right here. Right in front of me. So I can just see them sparkle. All right. Um, I also think I will... I, you know, I'm going to let go of these. Because I did end up getting the Chanel pair of my dreams that were like almost the exact same design. Um, these are some Marc Jacobs sunglasses. Um, they're like the round ones. They're silver. They also have like this like braided metal detail on the top and on the arms. And then it has maroon plastic little ends. And it has a little nose piece too. And this is in kind of like a mirrored finish lens but it's like a gray color they have like very light marks on the lenses like they almost have like a slight mirror look to them Hi oh thank you West Coast gal uh so I guess we'll, we'll let go of these the ones that I ended up getting if I can find them, were these. And if I can find another one of these for you guys, I will, because these sunglasses are literally one of my favorites. Um, and this, I had these before I got these. But these are like the Chanel ones that I have been like looking for for a million, million years. And finally, finally got them. And let's do these Marc Jacobs round sunglasses with in silver metal and gray gradient slight mirrored lens. Uh, how much are these going to be, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do these for $70. That's 22. Mm, Vadrian just dropped their chicken nuggets right now <laughs> on the floor. And now the dog's eating them. I can't. They're crazy. <laughs> these are these. I had to try them on again. Okay. Um, next up, let's like move away from the sunglasses and let's go on to some more bags. Let me just move some of these sunglasses out of the way. Goodness gracious. I definitely have a sunglass problem. Handbags and sunglasses are like my weakness. Okay, up next, um, let's do number 23. And I have for you guys, um, Chanel boots. Yeah, little booties with like the heels. Um, this is a, A four inch heel. They're pretty fabulous. A 
Loewe and Chanel bags. Oh, okay. And... <laughs> Stop. But true. It's not wrong. <laughs> uh, but these are in an age casting. Oh, hold on. And did you see my Louis Vuitton that I never showed you before? It's the... This is the Louis Vuitton softbox. It's almost like yours, but this is the one that's, um, whatever that finish is. I can't even remember anymore. Like, the mesh. But I love your iridescent one. Your iridescent one is so gorgeous. And these fit, like, a size 8.5, um, but they are a size 40. But these fit mom. She's an 8.5, 8.5, 9. Um, and yes, I will show some more sunglasses, Carmen. I just um, didn't want to <laughs> do like a gazillion sunglasses. Yeah, and we're twins. The mesh soft trunk, yes. Ooh. <laughs> so this is our uh, black Chanel um, booties in black aged calf skin leather and four inch heel height. I know, and we're like twins. Maybe I shouldn't sell it. So it's when we when we hang out one one of these days, <laughs> we'll have the same. We'll have similar bags. Yeah, how much are these? They do have a little bit of like marks on the heels, but still in great shape. They have the little CC logos just right there. <laughs> Soft trunks, yes. Um, what did you say? Three seventy-five. Okay, we're gonna lower these down to three hundred and twenty-five dollars. We had them at like four twenty-five. Um, you we're, we're gonna be fraternal twins. <laughs> okay, that's item number twenty-three. Again, they do fit like a size eight and a half. And then 24. <laughs> yes, Anne. Nice, I'd probably fall off. <laughs> and you're my sister from another mister? <laughs> uh, okay, 24 is gonna be... Um... Should I do those other songs? The one, you know which ones I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Veronica, Anne lives in another state. She lives, like, across the country. <laughs> All right. Um, no, but, Vadrian, should I do that? Um, those sunglasses? The black ones? The black ones. Yeah, he'll cap out at the Goodwills. No, Celine. Celine. No, the recent ones. Okay. Um, this one is gonna be. Hold on. Oh, I have this too. And this. And I've never heard the Maid State. <laughs> that one's an Anne original. Okay. Um, I have another pair of Celine sunglasses. Um, I actually already own this pair too. So whoever, if anyone picks these up, we're going to be twinsies. Um, I actually think they're in my car though. Um, but I have it in this color. So this is the black. I, ha I have like two pairs of these, but they're different colors. Um, this is my pair, or one of them. And this is kind of like in a tortoise shell. This one is in all black. So this one is the black pair of these. This is a really popular 
um, style of the Celine's. I think this is one of their most popular styles. This is the one that has the nose piece too, which I prefer because the other style that looks almost exactly the same actually has a thicker lens. I actually have that pair too. <laughs> Not me having all the styles. Um, this is like almost the same exact like silhouette. And this one is in like a very similar style. The only thing about this is like it squishes my nose. It doesn't have like a little nose piece. It does make it look like I have like a nose job because it makes my nose smaller because it literally squishes it down. Uh, but like I literally cannot breathe. But these are fantastic. Um, I highly recommend these. These are really, really good. So these are black Celine sunglasses. Um, with nose piece. And these have a gray lens. Uh, 10 less. Okay, these are going to be 150. These are so fantastic. I feel like these sunglasses look flattering on everyone. Oh, Norma is fast. Congratulations, Norma. We're twins. Yay. How many, how many of these sunglasses do I own? Yeah, see, these are the same exact pair, but in a different color. But I have my black ones, I think, inside the car. They're like my car pair in case I ever forget my sunglasses. But congratulations, Norma. Norma and I are sunglass twins, and then Anne and I are bag twins. All right, up next, item number 25. Okay, let me set these over here. Oh, it's already six o'clock. Where did the time go? All right, um, next up, this is a little Louis Vuitton pouch. And this is um, in, uh, what is this leather called? Epi. It's in the Epi leather. Um, Veronica, not to sell, not right now. I'm always on the lookout for those. Though. Those are my favorite style of um, Celine sunglasses. Hi, Tofo. Uh, there you go. Oh. I've been keeping it for receipts. Yeah, it's like, this is like the little epi pouch clutch thing. Um, it has black suede in the interior. Um, actually, I did sell another pair of those a while back, but I forgot who it was that bought them. But our triplets out there, if you're here, tell me, because <laughs> I know I, s I had another pair of those like a while ago. Um, and this is in like a black and then silver. Epi, oh, thank you, Anne. Yes, the Kirigami. Really cool. Oh, Boots, your sister just left? Okay, and this is how much, Adrian? It's the Kirigami. Black and silver Epi Kirigami clutch. Oh, thanks, Boots. We're just gonna do these for, let's do this for 210, so 210. It's in really great condition. Uh, 
And that's going to be item number 25. And, oh, Melissa's calling it. Congrats, Melissa. Yay. So pretty. You know, like, make a good, oh, a lot of you guys bought sunglasses today, which makes me so happy. Oh, Boots, you lost your sunglasses? No. I'm sorry. Did you lose them while you were on your trip? Okay, um, number 26 is up next. And... Which one are we gonna do? Here's one somewhere. Oh, you know what? I actually had a pair of tildes like these. I had to rebuy them because I left them at a Korean restaurant and I literally like left and then came back like 30 minutes later and I just I knew I left them like on the seat and they were gone and they were like we don't know where they went and I'm like I know someone stole them. <sighs> but it's okay. I'm going to wear these again. These are like such good sunglasses. All right. Um. Uh, I hate when that happens, Anne. I'm sorry. I need some moisturizing on my lips. They're so dry. Oh, boots. I'm sorry your sunglasses got lost. Okay, up next. Um. Let's do, oh, I still have this bag. This one is such a cute one. I am obsessed. And this is a Philip Lim um, little flap bag. And it's in this really pretty, like, peacock green color and has silver hardware. I love the chain on this too. It's really cool. It's kind of like a square curb chain. Um... It has this little silver buckle piece on the front. The leather is like super smooth. It does have like some marks on it. That's just gonna happen though with this type of leather. Um, but it's stunning. Here's the back. I love the way it connects up top. It's so cool. And then it just opens like this. Um, it does have like some pen marks like right here where my finger is. Uh, interior has four built-in card slots and it just has black lining inside of there. Hi Joanne! Oh, thank you! Yeah! Like if someone steals your cell phone you can like um, turn on what's it called? Like so that they can't like like you can lock it, like lock your phone, and then you can call the police, and your poli the police will go get your phone. Right? Is that what they do? I think so. And it's a really cute crossbody, and I love the shape, and the color is really nice. So this is number twenty six. This is our green Philip Lim flap crossbody bag with silver hardware, and this one's gonna be. Mm hmm Okay, we'll do this one for $150. And that's item number 26. Philip Lamb. This one's a really good color. I do love like a peacock green moment. Um and then Next up, all right, 27. 
I have something really cool to show you guys, but I think I want to wait till number 30 to show it. I want to show it like on a good number. So let's do, um, show those. Hmm? Oh, and it's, it's blue, it's navy. And you gotta stick around because number 30 is gonna be crazy. All right, um, I still have this guy too. This is a black Alexander Wang. And this is kind of like the wallet on a chain kind of style bag. It has uh, the black super chunky pebbled leather, has the silver hardware. The hardware does have some color loss on it. And the crossbody strap is adjustable. Um, there's a back zipper pocket right here that has a bunch of card slots inside. And then there's a middle compartment right here you can throw your cell phone inside and then there's one zipper pocket in the front right here where there's the top flap just like that and this one is going to be item number 27 this is our black uh pebbled leather wallet on chain alexander wang flap bag with silver hardware and this is going to be how much reader in yeah mm -hmm. okay you want to do this one for 75 dollars it does have like some wear to it there's some color loss on the hardware and i mean the leather still looks pretty good though i guess there is like a little bit of like wrinkling on the back but still in great shape. Uh oh. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. All right. And then 28 is up next. So I'm gonna set this guy over here. Uh, then we'll do. Should I do these? Or should I keep these? Or are they just like the red Celines? Yeah. Look at me, Vader, and I'm wearing them right now when it finally catches up because I know it's like still behind. It's like 30 seconds. I do have the red Saint Laurent ones, and it's like pretty much the same thing. These are just way bigger. I think I prefer the, like I honestly prefer them both, but. I don't remember, maybe. Did I? Um, red, Celine, let's just do these. Sunglasses. These are in really great shape. This is a newer style too. Um, this is new Celine, it doesn't have the accent. And this is in like a, it's in red, but like the red is like kind of see-through. And then it just has like a gray gradient lens and the lenses are in really good condition. Like these sunglasses are in really great shape. Oh, thanks, Anne. I think I like the way the St. Laurent's look better, like, on me, too. So, um, red sleeve sunglasses. And these are going to be $165. And that's going to be item number 28. And then 20. Hmm? Oh, are you, uh, for the sunglasses, um, Anne? They are 58, 21, and then 140. So I think that this width is 58, and then this is 21, and then 140 across, right? That's how um, the numbers work for sunglasses. They're really good size, because I have a ginormous head, and these actually look large on me. They're really cool, though, because they look like upside-down sunglasses. Like, it looks like they should be like this, almost. 
<laughs> but yeah, like see how like they're like thicker on the bottom. They're pretty cool. All right, so those are those, and then twenty nine is gonna be okay. No worries, Anne. Let me know. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to show this one because I thought I might keep it. But I'll see if any of you guys are interested before I get too attached to it. Um, it does need work, though, but I'm going to sell it as is. Uh, this is a little Chanel wallet in yellow. This is a card case wallet. It's in the yellow lambskin quilted. It does have um, discoloration throughout. So the back looks like you can see that there's like some discoloration right there. This would be a great wallet to um, either color match or to like dye a completely different color. Um, you can dye it black. It would be really easy. You can do red, and brown, um, navy. It has silver hardware and it also has the uh like the inlay right there in yellow there's a back pocket right here and then flip it open chanel it's right there um it the interior also does need a cleaning so looks like they actually have changed inside of here so it does have darkening um there's the back and then here's the front there's a little serial number right there with a sticker um, this is a from 2005. Is that 2015? Is that what that is? Because I don't think it's a 21 series when it has like the little number on the like the other sticker. Like that's the date that you go off of or something. But yeah, snap works really well. You can attach like a little crossbody strap to this too and then wear it as a crossbody or like a little necklace. So this is going to be number 29, our yellow Chanel um, flap card case wallet with silver hardware. Oh, hi, Yolanda. I'm doing well. It was good. You know, it's very relaxed. We went to go see the, um, we went to go hang out with our family on New Year's Eve. And then I actually went to go do a little thrifting on New Year's Day, you know? Gotta start the year strong. Um, okay, we're gonna do this one for $3.75. And that's gonna be item number 29. And again, this one is gonna be as is. Um, but again, it's gonna be a good project. The leather itself is in good shape. It just is dirty and could be either cleaned or used as is. Like, honestly, it's not too bad. But you see that there is some darkening on the leather. Silver hardware. And uh, I know this isn't, like, the matching chain. But you can put a chain on here. Which is like what I was thinking about doing. If no one buys it, I'll probably end up um, fixing it up. <laughs> and Hannah's like, no, she's being your, she's adulting for you. I love it. Isn't it cute? It's a little crossbody. Oh, you can wear it like kind of like a little necklace. It's just so cute. Um, I don't know, Kathleen. I was thinking of maybe just ending at 30. What time is it? 6.33? It's like it's dinner time. But um, 30? I think I was just going to show one more item. <laughs> but it's super cute. Maybe I will just fix it up. This is like a fun project. I do love yellow. 
<laughs> Cassandra. All right, are you guys ready for 30? This one's a good one. And I hope you're paying attention because, oh, hold on. I was actually like trying it out. And before I get too attached, I'm going to show it to you guys. Um, hold on to your checkbooks. <laughs> checkbooks. Hold on, let me just take all my little junk out of here. Okay. Are you guys ready? All right. One, two. And are you dead? So this is the Chanel Clear Totes. Um, this is like the DeVille. And it is so pretty. This is probably the only time I'm ever going to put this up for sale. Because if no one buys it, I'm probably just going to keep it. And it's not the same one that you're thinking about. This is a different one. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's not the same one. Um, this one, it's primarily, like, there's, like, they have, like, different color combos in this one. Uh, this is the one that's primarily the blue and then the pink. So, it's the blue handle, and the front is actually, like, in a blue-colored plastic. Like, the body of the bag is, like, in blue. Um, and then it has the pink interior right there. So, you have, like, this open compartment. This is a little... Magnetic snap, flap, and there's a zipper right here in the back. I know, Anne. <laughs> but it's in fantastic condition. Um, little top handles, and then we have the longer shoulder strap right here. This um, has a little turn lock, too, so you can put that through there, and that keeps it closed. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'd just throw this in there before I probably decide to commit to this, but it's so fun. It's like, I, it's like the little twin star colors, like the light blue, pink, and then green. There's, oh, there's also a side pocket, too, which is cool. So there's, like, a little side pocket right here as well. And this has silver hardware. And the bag is in beautiful condition. Um, it's so cool. I'm, like, obsessed. But I thought I would show it to you guys before I end up, like, never wanting to sell this. And I already kind of don't, but if it goes now, it'll be like less painful than if it went later. So um, this is number 30. This is our Chanel Clear um, Deauville so. Green, pink, and blue leather with silver hardware. <gasps> Carmen, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, Adrian, how much are we going to do this baby for? Yeah? No, you help me decide. Oh my gosh, everyone's birthdays are coming up. That's crazy. Okay, we're gonna do this one for 2,650. So 
<laughs> so that's this guy. So cute. It's such a cute bag. It's like, ugh. And that's the last item for the day. <laughs> but if anyone wants to see anything else, let me know. Um, the next live that I have scheduled, I think, isn't going to be until... Was it... Oh, I think it's going to be on Friday. It's the next live. Um, Friday and then Saturday. Or... <laughs> Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany, you're getting married? Congratulations. That's so exciting. <laughs> More sunglasses? <laughs> Cassandra. Um... Do I have any other sunglasses that I think I might sell though? Let's see. Um, oh, I lied. Here are my black ones. I found them. They were hiding inside of here. <laughs> I'm cracking up. Peter's making fun of me. Um, let's do... Should I do these Gentle Monsters ones? These are the Jenny from Blackpink Gentle Monster Club sunglasses. I do like these. So maybe no. Yeah. Wait, someone bought the Chanel? What? Someone buy my other Chanel. <laughs> no. My heart is worth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I cannot. Um, should I sell these, Vadrian? Yeah. I know, I do like these. I do have these. Ugh, you had me at skinny, Vadrian. <laughs> Vadrian's like, ooh, those make you look skinny because they're so big. And I was like, sold. <laughs> Oh, good night, Melissa. Wait, your, your fiance is kidney. <laughs> um, I do have these Tom boards. What do you think about these Tom boards? All right, I get. I kind of like these. Okay, let's see if anyone wants these. Um, I have, these are Tom Ford's. These are a black frame. And then gold hardware. Ooh, I love the Fendi baguettes. Have you seen the new ones that Jessica Park, Jessica, Sarah Jessica Parker did a collab with? And it has like the interchangeable like hardware. Ugh, they're so fun, but they're so expensive. They're like a gazillion dollars. Okay, so these are going to be, I don't remember, I guess I'll just continue a couple more till it's time for dinner, then I'm going to head out. <gasps> oh, Nikisha, I think I saw you. Okay, I will actually show that bag because I think I saw your comment earlier on, was, did you leave a comment on um, the YouTube video? So these are black Tom Ford sunglasses with gold um, metal him. He didn't look on Discord. <gasps> Let me look on Discord. Uh, 
Oh, I love the Tiffany Co. baguette. That one is gorgeous. Um... Wait, what happened, Adrian? Oh. <laughs> okay, how much are these, Adrian? Okay, these are gonna be a hundred and ten. And they do these do have a nose piece and they have like a metal inlay too. And then that has like the black plastic frame part. Okay, um, take the bag on vacation. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, um, let me go grab that bag really quick. Um, but that was those sunglasses. Um, where are my notes? They disappeared. Oh, there they are. So I just gotta, oh no, what was number 30? Oh, that was the Chanel. How much was the Chanel? The tote was two six five zero, right? Yeah, I was writing it in my notes. Oh, you didn't write it down. Okay. Um, they call uh, these are gold hardware for um the Tom for these Tom Fords. The hardware is in gold. It's almost like a like a brushed, huh? What are you talking about? Oh, for what? No, the gr the plastic one. What was it? It was number 30. Okay, I was right. Okay. Um, let me go grab that Birkini bag really quick. Okay, and the giant Birkini tote. Sorry, let me just kind of get it situated since it is like all over the place. Um, let me actually like close the top so you guys can see how it looks. It's super cute. It's like the size of um, the Hermes Hawk. And Vadrian just hung up on me. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, here we go. So it's huge, and it's in this like really fun, um, like p orange paisley, perfect snack bag. <laughs> I need sleeping pills and a shot of Patron, <laughs> Cassandra. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I don't think I'll have a coach tote bag. Let me show that in a second. But here's this guy. It's in pretty good condition. Very minimal, like discoloration on the corners, just like a little um, darkening and like slight rubbing, but still in good shape. There's the bottom. It does have feet. So it has three rows of feet 
and there's three little studs per row and has gold hardware. Uh, it does have like the little lock and clochette right here. And the inside is in like a bright yellow. <laughs> nah, I should have showed it to you guys before I closed it up. Uh, here's the interior. It has one little zipper pocket in the back and then an open pocket. There's some slight discoloration at the bottom, but nothing crazy. Probably just like a baby wipe. Um, should probably clean it all up. Uh, I found this bag online actually, and it retails for like almost $300. It's not leather, Antonila. It's um, fabric. So it's just all fabric inside and out. You can fit a lot of french fries in there, yes! Carry my snacks. <laughs> yeah, I was actually using this to carry like the bags um, that I bought from the day. And it's actually really great at like for toting around stuff. And since it's fabric, it's not like too heavy of a bag itself. So... You can definitely put a lot in here, and this the weight of the bag itself won't weigh you down as much. Um, there we go. Okay, how much is this gonna be, Vitrin? Yeah. Okay. So this is gonna be item number thirty-two. Our orange, extra large, uh, Birkin style bag with gold hardware. And we're going to do this one for $65. And that's going to be item number 32. Um, okay. So there's this. It is massive. Oh, and Nikisha's calling it. Congratulations, Nikisha. I'm glad you were able to get it. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Nikisha was on it. That one was a quick one. But congratulations. Sorry, guys. I'll try to look for another one of these. This is such a fun bag. Um, which I am going to set down over here, because it's so large. Um, oh, okay, I'm gonna show a couple of coach bags, because I told someone that I would show some more, and I didn't really show any other than just the one. So let's do, um, I do have this coach tote. This one's in black. Black leather, this is one that I restored, so. Leather is um, revitalized. It's black leather with brown um, little stitching, which is nice. It has a contrasting stitch. It does have the original Coach hang tag still on there. It also does have a brown peekaboo leather underneath the black handle. So I really like that. I feel like that is a really nice touch. There's a nice large front pocket right here. And the straps do sit really nicely on your shoulder. And there's a the bottom. It doesn't have any feet. Bye, Michelle. How are you? Happy New Year. Inside is in a brown fabric. And then there's a zipper pocket up top. And then it has two open pockets on the other side. And it has two pen holders right there. Um, this one doesn't have a zipper across the top, nor does it have any uh, like magnetic snaps or anything. So this one is just a great tote bag. Uh, it's about the size of the, mm, it's probably in between the GM and the MM. It's a little bit bigger than the MM, but smaller than the GM. So it's probably like right in between. And that'll be item number 33. Uh, Vader still here. And how much is this one? Oh, you're welcome, Anne. So 
to their black coach tote. Hmm? With brown peekaboo leather dress. We did. I know Anne is gonna be so intense packing that bag up. I hope I can find a box big enough for it. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Okay, we're gonna do this one for $70. And that's gonna be item number um, 33. The interior is in really great shape. The exterior looks really good. Again, I did um, refinish this bag. So, it's really good. I love the brown with the black. I feel like that's such a nice combo. Okay, so that's 33. Um, do I have any other coach bags out here? Oh, I have one more right here. So, I'll do 34 really quickly. And I have this tote. Let me move these sunglasses really quick. Uh, not all my sunglasses getting squished. Okay, um, here is the other coach bag that I have, and this one is in a black Safiano style leather. We have nice long straps which are adjustable so you can make them a little bit longer or a little bit shorter than how it is right now and go to 40 so it sits really nicely on your shoulder gold hardware does have the hang tag right there no feet on this one but the bottom is pretty structured and rigid so this bag is definitely going to um keep its shape standing up interior is my favorite because it's like this bright red and then there's a middle dividing zipper pocket um, and it's in like a burgundy color, gold hardware. Here's the interior. There's a little, um, coach. What's it called? The Creed is right inside of there. Um, interior zipper pocket does have one slip pocket just right there. And I think the inside is, oh yeah, there's a couple little small pen marks in the interior of the back portion. Uh, but nothing like super crazy, but there's just a couple small pen marks inside. Otherwise, the bag is in really great shape. <sighs> okay, I'll go to 40. And then after that, that's it. Okay, so this is our black coach tote bag. With, um, oh, this one is MM, I think. It's smaller than the other one. Yeah. So this is like, yeah, so this is more like the MM. This is in between like the MM and the GM, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is more like the MM size for the Louis Vuitton. Mm, but with the red interior and gold hardware. Give the people what they want. All right, how much is this, Adrian? Okay, this one's 75. Okay, we're gonna do 70 actually. Okay, so that's number 34. <laughs> Not me trying to end with like the Chanel bag. <laughs> Going to 40 now. Okay, 35 is gonna be... Oh, Belinda's calling it. Congratulations, Belinda. Yay! You know what's so funny? Um, you're probably not the same person, but I had a teacher whose name was Belinda Woods. <laughs> she was like my seventh, was it seventh? No, eighth grade English. No, seventh? No, seventh grade English teacher in junior high. Yes. But congratulations, Belinda. She was really nice. All right. Yeah, seriously. Like, her, that's like, I was like, Belinda Woods. I was like, that's Mrs. Woods from English. That's so cool. She was awesome. 
Okay. Uh, next up, let's do. Let me set this over here with my other bag. All right, I also still do have this guy. This is the Bottega Veneta shoulder bag in like an off white leather. And then it has these woven leather pieces going through in like a tan black and a red. Um, there are a couple little marks on here, like some light discoloration. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, you can see like there's like a slight, like sh a little bit darker shade of off-white right there. Um, but the bag is super duper soft. You're going to probably attach a crossbody strap to here if you wanted. It has gold hardware. And the bag is a really great little shoulder bag. The style is really cool. It's kind of like vintage-y. Um, interior is in suede. And then there is a middle dividing zipper compartment right here on one side though there are a couple of stains it looks like it might be lipstick you see that down there um so there's lipstick and there's like a dark mark just like right there so it looks like maybe some makeup might have spilled inside of there um but yeah just the one middle dividing zipper pocket and that is it oh and it would be really pretty as a pastel actually it would be really pretty all right so this is number 35 this is our off-white leather bottega vanetta hobo shoulder bag with woven tan black and red um and brushed gold hardware and how much was this Vader? Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this one for one seventy-five, and that's gonna be item number thirty-five. I think my mom's texting me. Let's see what she said. So she sends me a picture of food. <laughs> oh, she must have finished making dinner. You guys want to see? Okay. I'm going to show you guys, even though you haven't said anything yet. Um, she made chicken tikka masala. Right there. So chicken tikka masala. And then... Oh, she also made some naan bread. So this is homemade naan bread. Uh, her naan bread is so good. I'm already hungry. I cannot wait to eat this. Even though I cannot eat carbs. So I have to try to be strong. So we got that. Oh, and it looks like she also made, hold on, let me pop this last one. Oh, this is everything that she made. Um, she also made some egg rolls as well. Mmm, yummy. Oh, and she made, what are those? Empanadas too? Stop it. Empanadas, egg rolls, some garlic naan, and some chicken tikka masala. I cannot wait to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. All right. Uh, I'm going to go faster so I can eat already. 36. <laughs> smaller the goods and smaller coach bags. Uh, do I have any smaller coach bags? Um, let me see. I pulled some bins. Um, let me see if I have anything. Any smaller, uh, coach bags. <laughs> Mom, your food looks so good.
Okay, guys, sorry. I'm back. I had to try some of that food. <laughs> okay. Um, I was able to pull a couple things. Also, mom, these are turkey taco empanadas. They are delicious. And then mom made, these are just vegetable little egg rolls. Ah, so delicious. Um, let's see, what question? Oh, Lisa, you're asking about Chanel's? Um, Lisa, I have a couple Chanel's from the night. Was there anything specific that you wanted to see? We can go over them really quickly. But I just showed, the last one that I just showed is this Chanel plastic. It's like the Deauville tote. But it's like the clear one. It's so cute. It has like the pink interior um, leather like pockets inside. And it has silver hardware. And then I have this little yellow Chanel wallet, but this one is an as-is wallet. It does have discoloration. <laughs> it's just, I, it's like a little amouche bouche. Um, I had to try it while it was still warm. Because I feel like they're going to get cold so quickly because it's so cold. Um, I have ketchup and mustard back here so you got these two backpacks this is like the clear Ooh, we have like the clear motif so this one's in clear and yellow leather and then this is red lambskin and these both have silver hardware if you want to see anything like more specifically to lisa just let me know and then we have this is the this is like an army green chanel reissue Tote, and this has silver hardware. Gold hardware. Um, we have this little guy. This is the pearlescent pink Chanel flap with ruthenium hardware. Uh, Chanel pearlescent blue with silver hardware phone bag. Then we have the wallet on a chain. This is in a metallic green blue. Really, really pretty. Silver hardware. I mostly have silver hardware. I don't have too much gold. Um, this one is a Chanel belt bag. Ruthenium hardware. And this is in silver metallic leather. Then we have this red accordion flap bag. With silver hardware as well. And this is the one that I have with pink hardware. This is the uh, Chanel flap bag in red lambskin leather. Gold hardware. This is like the nice and squishy one. Super cute. And then one of my favorite ones from the bunch. This is a Chanel crossbody flap. And this is an aged calfskin in brown. It has kind of like reddish undertones. It's so nice and squishy. Uh, ruthenium hardware on this one. And this one has like the Chanel across the top. And this is a crossbody. And you squeeze this hardware together to open it up. There's the interior. But um, that's like a quick little synopsis of the Chanel bags. Did I miss anything? I think that's it. Oh, I also had a pair of Chanel, like, booties, like, shoes. And they are a size 8.5. Um, the green one. This guy is 1350 for the wallet on a chain. I can show it to you more in depth. It's metallic. It has like the silver hardware right there. Uh, it does have like some slight rubbing like on the corners. It's honestly like not too noticeable just because like just the nature of the leather. Um, it is like a nubuck leather which is green and then it's laminated with the 
like the metallic blue. So it has like that blue shift. Oh, the dark green one. Sorry. Oh, how much was the tote bead ring? No, it's from yesterday. Um, here's this one. Oh, Terry, it's okay. Um, this is a the Chanel reissue tote bag, silver hardware. Um, this one does have like like minor rubbing on the corners, but this is like a super soft, squishy lambskin. So so nice. Um, wait, what did you say, Adrian? This one is one thousand three hundred and fifty as well. The interior is nice and clean. There's a zipper pocket and two open pockets and then a little key fob. And it has a magnetic snap up at the top. And there's a turn lock pocket here in the front. So this one is $1,350 for this guy. And the shoes, how much were the shoes, Beadrain? Yeah, the boots. Um, these shoes were, where are you shoes? These are $325. These have a four inch heel. They're a size 40, but they fit like a size eight and a half. And they're in black aged calf skin leather. And then the red Chanel backpack. You're welcome, Lisa. Uh, how much for the Chanel backpack? The red one, Adrian? It was from yesterday. This is the Spirit backpack, uh, silver hardware. Here's the back. We have the back pocket. And this one was 2,900 for this guy. Silver hardware. This one's in really great shape. There's just one little light dot of a mark right there um, on the corner. And I can color match it and cover that up if you want, but so let you know that that does have like that little blemish right there. And there is like a small pen mark on the inside. But there's a zipper pocket and an open pocket as well as a key fob inside of there. And the pen mark is pretty small. Just like this little dot. It's like right there. And yeah, Spirit Backpack in red lambskin leather. And it has a drawstring. But it's so beautiful, it's so soft. Ugh. It's a beautiful bag. All right, um, back to the new things that I got. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, Cassandra, no, number 30 is still calling your name and it's still available. Um, okay, so 36. Um, let me just show you quickly, like, what I grabbed in case, like, yeah. So let me know if you're interested. I have, this is like the on off white coach um, belt bag with gold hardware. You can use it as like a body bag as well. It's really, really nice. It's in really great shape. It also does have the little key fob, or the key fob, the hang tag. And then this is a vintage coach shoulder bag in black leather. This one's missing the hang tag. Um, it has like some rubbing on the corners, but it's still in pre pretty decent condition. This one's made in um, USA. No, this is made in Costa Rica. That guy. And then this is a Bonnie Cashin uh, crossbody in blue canvas and the green leather trim. Little turn lock or kiss lock pocket right there in the front. Um, Lisa. Oh, I had a Mark Jacobs yesterday, huh? Um, yes. Ah! I can go grab it so I can show it to you, though, in just a second. Um, there's also this vintage coach. Right here. This one's made in USA. It looks like a Dooney and Burke, but this is a coach. And 
it does have the little hang tag as well. And that's all the coats I was able to find really quickly. Um, then I do have for SLGs, I have this brand new Patricia Nash little set right here. It has a small wallet and then it has like the matching little handkerchief. Um, Rebecca, I have a Madewell. Uh, oh, I have a Madewell. Okay, hold on a second. Let me go grab them and I'll go see if I can get that coat or Mark, or J Mark Jacobs. All right, I have a feet out. <laughs> okay, how much is the black coach and the brown? Um, the coach tote, the black coach tote was. Um, the black coach tote with the brown was $70. And then... I have a lot of bins. <laughs> um, okay, I pulled some larger bags. Like, I have this big Kate Spade tote right here. Um, this is a little Madewell uh, leopard print crossbody bag. 
right here. This is a Madewell paint splatter tote bag. I have this uh, small Madewell drawstring satchel. Right there. Um, I have this little Marc Jacobs Natasha right here. And Oh, and someone was asking about the taupe coach. Were you asking about this one? Um, the taupe coach. Oh, Kathleen, this one? This guy was... Um, how much are we doing this fusion for? The coach taupe. The one that looks like a Dooney Burke. Okay, so this one is the coach tote. In, or coach tote. Coach in taupe. It has taupe leather. It's kind of like the all-weather leather that kind of looks like the Dooney and Burke. And then the brown leather trim with the brass hardware. This has the hang tag. There is some rubbing, though, on the corners. Right there. Um, there's a back pocket. When you open it up, there's a back zipper. And then, uh, yeah, this is made in the United States. Yeah, made in the United States, yes. Made in the U.S. Um, nice and clean on the inside. And it's actually in really, really great shape. It just has like some rubbing on the corners. And this is number 36. Hi, Glam Chick. Coach Sheridan. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Coach Sheridan. Um, flap bag in taupe leather. And what did you say, Vader? Okay, we're going to do this one for $85, and that's going to be item number 36. Okay, so that's 85 And then the neon mark shake. Oh, how much was the Madewell drawstring? Um, no, not, yeah, the silver Chanel was a belt bag. And that's this one right here. No, it was the mustard colored um, drawstring one. Okay. Uh, and uh, hold on, Anne. I'll show it to you in a second. Uh, this is 37. Mustard colored leather draw. You have a quick eye, Anne. I didn't even see, I didn't even see that. Um, drawstring satchel with brass hardware. Um, and this is, okay, we're going to do 55. Um, Nanette, yes. Happy New Year, Glam Chick, Chic, Glam Chic. So that's number 37 is 55. Um, oh yeah, but this one can be worn as like a, like a body bag, like this. It's really, really cute. Oh, was it really done? I thought I had it in the back. I was trying to hide it from Anne. I was going to surprise her with it. Okay. Um, made, you made well. Um, Tofu, yes, this is a made well right here in mustard. It does have some slight rubbing on the corners. Otherwise, it's in really great shape. Uh, unlined, so it's just sweet on the inside with a zipper pocket, top handle, and crossbody strap, which is adjustable. And this is going to be item number 38. Uh, mustard drawstring. Um, satchel. Brass hardware. How much is this, Adrian? Yeah. Yeah, this guy right here. No, what was this then? Wait, did I already show that one? Oh, I already showed that one. That was 37, 55. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Um, That was 37. Okay, 38 is... Sorry, my brain is like not working. How much was the belt bag? 
Vader in? Yeah. Yeah, that's from yesterday. Um, so, oh, 1,850 is this, um, is the Chanel belt bag. <laughs> Cassandra. Oh, Topo's con 37. Congratulations, Topo. Congrats. Okay. That one is 37. Sold to Topo. Okay, so that's our mustard bag. Set that one over there. And then how much was the tote, the um, splatter tote? So this is the paint splatter Madewell tote bag. And it's canvas and then leather handles. Uh, this one has like a, a little bit of like um, a couple marks. There's like a mark right here on the side. And then some on the corners. But you can't really tell because of the paint splatter. Like, kind of just looks like it's part of it. Um, handles are in great shape. Inside does have some slight discoloration at the very bottom. You can see, like, there's, like, a, that spot right there. Um, but all cleanable. I don't think that's, like, a thing that's going to really set in. There's a front pocket and then a zipper pocket behind it. And it doesn't zip across the top or anything. But it's a great bag. And this is number 38. Uh, yes, Carmen. This is the Midwell Paint Splatter Tote Bag. And this one we're going to do for $25 for our paint splatter. And that's number 38. And then... Rebecca's calling it. Congrats, Rebecca. Yay. All right. And then this um, this is the Kate Spade. Uh, this is like an off-white, like, taupe color. Um, exterior is in pretty good shape. They're just, like, minor rubbing on the very corners. And inside is this beautiful like maroon color leather. And then there's one zipper pocket and then an open pocket underneath. And yeah, it's really, really pretty. And this one is gonna be item number 39. Kate Spade off-white taupe leather Kate Spade bag with maroon interior. And how much is this metering? Cassandra, I'm drinking. <laughs> How'd your hair turn out? No, there's no tassels. Okay, we're going to do this guy for $65. Oh, where'd I go? Oh, there I am. Wait, what did I say? 65? 65. Okay, so that's number 39. 65. Okay. Um... We told the price of the belt bag, right? Okay. Um, and then, uh, what did Carmen want to see? The red wine color bag. Oh, Carmen, that's the Michael Kors. It's just a Michael Kors little satchel. Super cute, says love on the front. How much was this, Patreon? The little left bag? Oh, you weren't. Hold on. I don't think you were here. Um, oh, this one, the love bag was $60. Michael Kors. Okay, now for item number 40, the number, the bag that <laughs> Anne and who, who else was it that was looking, that wanted to see it? Um, Lisa. Okay. 
Okay. This one, it's super cute, right? It does have a couple, like, blemishes on it that I haven't had a chance. This is why I didn't show it yet, because I didn't know if I could clean it off. Um, so I'll just show it to you as is really quickly. But this is a um, Marc Jacobs. This is the, I think it's called the Little Big Shot Satchel. Uh, it's in a patent leather. And it's like a highlighter yellow and then gray silver hardware. There's this black clochette and lock. And then the sides are in this, um, like a neon salmon red color. But it's super duper cool. And I'm gonna need a bottle of Cassandra. But it's super cute. Um, it is missing the crossbody strap, but since it has like so many different colored leathers, I think it'd be cool to just do like a fun colored strap or you can do a black one. It'll match the black. Uh, but it's super duper cute. Um, okay, so it does have, I don't know if it's like a color transfer situation. I don't know, it's not even coming up on camera. Hold on. Let me just see if I can clean it off first. Cause I think, I can, I think at least some of it will come off. For sure I'm using my cleaner on it, the my shoe cleaner. Oh, most of it's coming off. Okay, let's see if this other stuff comes off. Hold on, I think we might be lucky that most of this is coming off. Ooh, this big mark is coming off. I thought for sure that wasn't. Oh, what luck. Okay, so far so good. At least the front looks like everything's coming off. And then there's a little bit of stuff like here on the bottom. Do you see that? Right there, oh, right there. Um, hold on. There's also a lot right here. There's a lot of dark marks, but hopefully all these will come out. No, it doesn't have a shoulder strap, Anne. No shoulder strap. Oh, you know what would be cute if you have if some if you already have like um another like Michael Kor or Mark Jacobs, like a snapshot. You can use like one of the snapshot straps on here. Okay, all this stuff on the bottom is coming off. Sorry, like not me like cleaning the bag right now and I'm showing it to you guys. But since you guys are asking, I wanted to show it because it's so fun. I just got this in and I haven't had a chance to clean it off. Okay, well, I'm pretty positive all this stuff on the bottom is going to come off. It's just going to take a second. So that is coming off. I think this is the mark that's not going to come off on the back. Yeah, I think the one on the back is color transfer. And then I think there was a mark on the side. Well, let's see if this comes off any. Sorry guys, I'm not even reading your comments. Um, yeah, you can attach one. It has like the D-rings on the inside. So you can definitely Ooh, that one got light, but I don't think that one's going to come off completely. Um, okay, so this is my conclusion with the marks on the bag. Okay, there is this mark right here. There's that, and then that. And I'm pretty sure those are color transfer marks. So um, those are probably not going to come out. And then there's this mark right here. I'm pretty sure that's a color transfer mark. Probably won't come out. And then there's a little mark right here on the corner as well. Which I'm pretty sure 
color transfer mark, so that's probably not going to come out. Um, pretty much everything on the bottom, I'm pretty positive is going to come out, but just in case, there may be a couple little like marks, but they're all just like on the ends. But it's really hard to see. But I got them almost all off already, but I'm pretty sure all those will come out. And here is the interior. Um, there's a middle dividing zipper compartment. There's the back right here that has one pocket. And then the front is just open. The interior is pretty good condition. There's nothing crazy going on inside of there. Um, and then the little, there's a little D-ring right there. And then the other D-ring is on the other side to attach the strap to. So, yes. So just know that there are a couple little um, color transfer situations. But they're primarily on the back. Um... I don't know what these little specks are. Okay, there's also these. I don't even know if they're going to come up on camera. But can you see, like, right there? There's that mark. It honestly might be from the hang tag. It just, like, because when it's on there, it might be from the hang tag, just, like, rubbing into the leather. But when you have the hang tag there, you don't see it, so... I think that's probably where that came from. Um, but that is it. I think I'm done explaining the bag. So I want to make sure I show you guys all this stuff. And it does have silver hardware. And it's really cute. Okay. Sorry. Uh, this is number 41. This is our neon green, gray, and red. Um, what is this again? Safiano Leather Mark Jacobs. Um, what is this called again? Little Big Shot Satchel with Silver Hardware. Okay, and how much is it later on? Oh, it's number 40? Oh, it is number 40. Thank you. 40. Okay, we're going to do this one for 110. 110 for number Let me just try to remove the rest of this stuff on here. Oh, Anne, you're so fast. <laughs> Congratulations, Anne. Yay! Woohoo! Oh my gosh, Anne, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> it's so cute. I know you love your neon colored bags. Honestly, I was thinking about you when I found this. I was like, ooh, I feel like this is the bag Anne would like. Where did that little brush that I had go? Everything's a hot mess now. Last, <laughs> famous last words, Anne. Famous last words. But um, if anyone wants to see anything else or have any questions, let me know. That was item number 40 for the evening. Uh, next sale is going to be on Friday. Uh, I don't have any other snapshots at the moment. But, I mean, anything is possible. Hopefully, I can find another one remember that time when i had like literally like seven snapshots at one time that was so crazy i never thought that would happen so anything's possible and yeah so i will definitely keep a lookout for more snapshots um this one is so cute though like, this this style already is not one that's very, like, um, 
it's not like it's a rare one like you don't see this style that often so and then this colorway i think is really fun but thank you guys again so much for hanging out let's do the giveaway so i'm just gonna leave that link one more time we're giving away uh that little fossil wallet right there The black coach. Oh, Lumen. No. Let me actually um, put that one out. So that'll be number 41. That's a little shoulder bag. So vintage coach. Did you hear that? Um, shoulder bag made in Costa Rica. What did you say? Okay, we're going to do that one for 65 Lumen if you're interested. Um, Marjorie, yes. I think, Vadrian, you have all of Marjorie's stuff already, right? I don't have anything, um, yeah. Oh, from yesterday? Was it yesterday? Okay, Marjorie, um, we will try to have it shipped out on Thursday. That's when I'm going to see Vadrian, so, um, Yeah. We'll try to have that shipped out on Thursday when I drop it off to Vadrian to go with the other items. And then at the... Oh, thank you, Kathleen. That was the silver one. Um, that'll be... Let me just put out the number for it. So that's item number... Um, 42, right? So, 42 Chanel belt bag... Okay, that's 1,850, um, Nanette. And that's going to be number 42. Okay, I'll just have that one as a number. And... Okay, okay, Norma. Um, okay, if anyone has any other questions about anything... Um, but here is the link. Sorry, I don't think I left it. This is the link for the giveaway. Um, leave your answer to the nice question. What is the temperature where you're living? Is it raining? Is it snowing? Let me know in the comments of that video. And this is the giveaway for the night. It's a super cute fossil wallet in this brown leather. It has like a metal top frame piece. Here's the interior. It's nice and clean. Really, really cute. All right. Um, oh, thank you, Don. Oh, Lumen. Um, yeah, just send me if you yeah if you purchase anything. Just send me an email, and then I will send you an uh, I will send you an email right here, and I'll send you a PayPal invoice, and then um, if you want me to hold on to your item and if you see anything else, because I can ship up to five items for $15. Um, next sale is going to be on Friday. Then we're going to have a Saturday sale as well. And then you can add those items into your um, invoice. Um, just pay off the invoice minus $1 if you wanted to do that. And then that way we know to hold on to your items. Otherwise, if you pay it in full, we will just ship it out already. Um, but yeah, like I'll... I think that this will probably explain it better than I can. <laughs> Marion, uh, the next sale is going to be on fri on Friday. And I think it's at 8. Friday at 8 p.m. Uh, but let me... Okay, so don't forget to enter the giveaway. I'm going to announce the winner in just a second once I get my life together. Jeez Louise, where is that... Random YouTube comment picker. But yeah, Marianne, Friday and Saturday. Friday at 8, Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time. Okay. And now we will pick our winner in 3, 2, 1. Boop, 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 boop. Kathleen! Kathleen Sutherland, you have won today's giveaway. It's 29 degrees right now. Positively balmy. Uh, 
That is really cold. <laughs> but congratulations, Kathleen. You are the winner of tonight's giveaway. You're going to get this super cute fossil wallet. Congratulations. Um, uh, Jocelyn, thank you. I'm really excited to go eat right now. Um, but yeah, if anyone has any questions about anything, just send me an email. Uh, invoices should be sent out hopefully within the next 15 minutes after we end the live right now. And I think that's it. All right. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out tonight. We had a blast as per usual. Um, it's going to be a hot second for me to clean up all of my stuff right here. But I'll see you on Friday and Saturday, um, 8 p.m. and then 10 p.m. Pacific time. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Um, there's going to be a new video tomorrow also at 7 a.m. All right, guys. Good night. Adios. Sayonara. Arrivederci. Bon voyage. Um, <laughs> good night, Michelle, Cassandra, Boots, Marjorie, Jean, uh, Don, Michelle, Jocelyn, and Marion, Terry, Lumen, Pauline, um, Nanette, Marjorie, Norma, um, Diana, and if I didn't mention your name, I'm so sorry. But I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Good night, guys. Adios.